Hi, I'm Samuel Collins, perpetually jet-lagged, allergic to mornings, and contractually obliged to shoot at 3am when the studio is unrentable, thanks to a personal injury settlement with my producer, Larry. So this is the morning after show. You're welcome. The top story this weekend was the PR blitz for the upcoming Ukraine-Russia war and or marriage, as the US government withdrew embassy families and the UK government leaked intel that a certain cheeky chancellor Vladimir Putin of Russia has secretly been going steady with some Ukrainian dude called Yevon Muriev. And now that winter is here and the ground is frozen enough to support a tank invasion, it seems they're ready to go public and tie the border-busting knot. Although, not in Russia or Ukraine, obviously, where marrying another dude will get you murdered. So they're dashing off to a naked circuit party in Mykonos, where the ceremony will be officiated by an unidentified man in a full-body gold lame gimp suit in between live sex shows, as NATO prepares its own wedding reception in Ukraine. Expect pixelated photos of the happy couple tying the knot in People magazine very, very soon. In other news, Bojo the zombie PM clown creaks on, joining that rich Tory tradition of zombie PMs that no one wants to supplant, begun by Theresa May Droid, as the party collectively weighs up the pros and cons of having him carry the Covid shit can, before shit canning him at the next election, now that there's so much ammunition against him that he's unelectable. Bit odd, really. Dude can't find his way out of a walk-in fridge, and he actively messes his hair up before meeting world leaders because it makes him look smarter. How the fuck was he electable before? Oh yeah, Britain. And speaking of unelectable, hamstrung President Biden may be asleep at the wheel, and good old Mitch chose his words very deliberately when saying that African Americans aren't Americans, in order to reassure his base that he's still tacky racist scum. But the Democrats report that they've counterbalanced Republican gerrymandering with some redistricting shenanigans of their own. Classy all the way round, then. Even as Ukraine freezes over, the economic Cold War continues to heat up. So while you might think the US response to China is a bit extra, Spare a thought for hard-up Davos, along with parliaments and airports across Europe, none of which can afford due diligence, apparently, because they're all employing ID readers, body scanners, and facial recognition tech made by NukeTech. The clue here is in the name. A company owned by the Chinese National Nuclear Corporation, so the Chinese military, that got kicked out of the States 20 years ago. And if World War III doesn't rock your boat, this weekend's top existential threat that the world ignored is antibiotic resistance, now the world's third biggest killer. So don't get scratched in your garden or get laid, definitely don't need surgery, or fight for your life in an invasion or civil war. This has been the Morning After Show. You're welcome.